President Carter told the delegates to the International Chamber of Commerce Convention at Disney World that this is an unusual time, a time without major warfare, a time of relative calm. Yet in this moment, we must face the deeper problems of humanity. Our world will suffer. Without leaders of vision, we can never solve the problems that most sorely afflict us and those that threaten us even more in the future. That was last night. This morning, in what could be interpreted as a response to the president's call for more vision, Disney Productions made an announcement that will have a major impact on the state of Florida and perhaps on the rest of the world. The plan is called EPCOT, Experimental Prototype Community of Tomorrow. At a cost of one-half billion dollars, it will be located about two miles south of the current resort facilities and will be connected to it by a monorail. There will be two major theme areas. One will be called Future World. It will dramatize the challenges of tomorrow, such as energy, transportation, the land, seas, space, life and health. There will also be a global marketplace featuring new technologies. Already, General Motors, Kraft Foods, Exxon, and AT&T have said they will participate with Disney in Future World. The second part is called World Showcase. It will be the first permanent international exposition focusing on cultures and traditions of other lands. So far, 10 nations, including Israel, Japan, Germany, the United Kingdom, Italy, France, and the United Arab Emirates will have exhibitions. Governor Askew says Epcot will be internationally significant. So what you're going to have, you're going to have young people who are going to get to know each other through private enterprise, not government sponsored, hopefully with a minimized political intentions, to learn to know each other, and then they're going to go out and form potential cadres of leadership throughout the entire world. And second, in Epcot, we are going to, uh, Disney is going to be able to produce some of the most complicated yet basic lessons in human history that people can understand. Walt Disney dreamed of a show place for the concepts of tomorrow that would never be completed, but always introducing, testing, and demonstrating new ideas, new materials, and new systems a center for the communication of new concepts that would always be in the state of becoming, giving voice to an optimistic future and confidence in the ingenuity and imagination of free enterprising men and women. When completed in 1982, Epcot is expected to be twice the size of Disney World today, and it will attract 8 to 10 million visitors alone. The Magic Kingdom drew 14 million last year. It will also give tourists another reason not to come to South Florida. Ike Seamus, Channel 4 News at Disney World.